how would you define faith? I don't think of faith as a way of knowing something. I think far too many people think of faith in, in terms of uh, a way you know something. So they think, for example, that reason takes you so far and then reason comes to the end of its resources and then you make this leap of faith and, and you know that God exists or you know that Jesus Christ is God's son by faith. I think that's really a complete misunderstanding of, of faith uh, as it's used in the, in the Bible. Instead, I think of faith as a way of trusting in something that you know or you think you know to be true. So to illustrate, several years ago, I had double cornea transplant surgery. I have now the cornea of a 28-year-old woman in one eye and of a 60-year-old man in the other eye. Uh, and that helps me, my wife says, to see things from a woman's point of view sometimes. <laughs> but uh, as you can imagine, uh, as scholars, our eyes are our whole life uh, in study and so forth. So before I took the step of letting uh, someone cut on my eyes, Jan and I did a thorough search of who was the best corneal surgeon in the United States. Who was at the top of the ladder in corneal transplant surgery? And we found it was Perry Binder out in La Jolla, California. And so uh, having determined that, that this was the best man, I then trusted him to cut on my eyes. I, I placed my trust in him on the basis of the evidence that we had gathered that this man was the finest corneal surgeon. So that's the way I would see the relationship between faith and reason is that once you've come to think that something is true, then the question arises, am I going to commit myself to this? Am I going to trust in this with my whole life and being? And, and so that's how I conceive of faith is as this step of commitment or trust. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.